So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here and welcome to What Remains of Edith Finch. This is another game very similar to Little Nightmares in terms of it's an indie game and oh my goodness me. I'll explain more after. So, I guess we're Edith Finch. That's kind of answered that question. Alright, so we have control back. This game here, guys, really appealed to me. It seems to be like we play as this person named Edith Finch and we're heading back to our house and it's going to be very quiet because everyone in our house is dead. We don't actually have any idea why, but as we go into the various rooms of the house, we're going to learn the past of each of the characters. It sounds super immersive. I at least want to give this game a shot, guys, so a let's get started. Yeah. Really makes sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. Okay. I'm just gonna start at the beginning with the house. Alright. Oh, it throws us straight back in. Oh, wow. Okay. Now this looks freaking cool. Alright, dude. So that's how we zone in like that. Someone had put up a chain link fence, but it looked mm -hmm. like I wasn't the first person to hop it. Oh, <laughs> hey, this seems pretty damn awesome. I can see that right there. So whoever did that wasn't us. Someone else did. And is that a grand house there, dude? The neighbor's got competition. You know what I'm saying? I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Hmm, that's interesting. And I presume now that everyone has passed, now we're going to have access. That's not a spoiler, by the way, guys. That's in the synopsis. I just want you guys to know that ahead of time. What is this? Is that a mailbox inside or something? Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago. Seven Mark years. Urgent. Open immediately. Well, they didn't get open. And look, it says final notice and stuff like that. All right, so an eviction, I guess, was taken away as well. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Hmm. Maybe we'll find out about that right there. The brother Lewis. No trespassing. This property is protected by video surveillance. Very beautiful place for a home, right? I... In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Hmm. Super interesting. I guess we're going to gather. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. In the mother's will, she wanted us maybe to subconsciously return here? She wouldn't leave us a key for no reason to her house, and we couldn't get in half of the rooms, right? So, let's see, why did mom want us to come back here? It's going to be a lingering question until we get I to the house. I have driven this way in a long time, it's but I saw you have prints. I'm not seeing them, but I'll trust your judgment, Edith. You know? Look at this, dude. Oh, man, this would... Oh, it's a deer. Yeah, this would be a beautiful way to walk home, though. Maybe uh, not when drunk, though. I wouldn't try that. Hey, friend, are you good? Oh, he's going. Okay, okay. Feel free. Feel free. And off he goes. Damn, dude. He jumped that too? The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. Interesting. So it's an but inheritance right there. questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Mm. <laughs> they know how to captivate you, I'm saying that. So, a truck is still there, basketball. The house was exactly like I remember oh. it, The way I'd been dreaming about it. Jeez, man. Wow, and you don't want to come back to this thing, dude? Like, wow, man. I want to take a quick side route here. Look, we can head this way. What is down this path here? Like, is it going to lead us somewhere different? Or, well, I mean, I guess I kind of can predict this. Have always been uncomfortably silent. Mm, I'd, I'd say this is as peaceful, dude, you know? I say something, but never do. <laughs> I see. This is quite peaceful, though, I've got to say. Little bridge right here, I guess, to cross maybe some kind of lake. Looks like a small running lake, just gentle, calm water right there. Anything over here we can see that is abnormal. I mean, dude, it looks pretty damn awesome here. Very peaceful, too. All right, let's get back to the house anyway. Let's see what this house has for us. You look at this over there, though, man. <laughs> this family must have been super well off. I mean, the house says that already, right? But I asked Edie all this other stuff. about the dragon in the pond. Mm. She said it had killed her husband. <laughs> Damn, Edie. Uh, check this out. Missing. Who is that? Milton Finch. And we got another one here. Is this the child, same person? The house yes. made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. I mean, it's a big grand structure. I mean, I don't know, dude. You know when you got like those huge spaces? It just feels like someone else is obviously going to be occupying now, them. As a 17 year old, I knew exactly what those words were. 17 I years was old. Of man. The house. You was. I mean, 17 years old and you have this now in your inheritance? Let's go and check this out. Is that a different missing poster there? Looks to be the same one as well. Milton Finch by the looks of things. So, anywhere else we haven't checked beforehand. What about around the back here? Just a garage. Ooh, just some wind chimes. A cat or dog flap, is that? And just a door of which we can't open. Oh, wait, hold up. We could probably crawl through? Or can we? Crawling through the doggy Ooh. door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Maybe this is what we needed to do, actually. We did have a key. We didn't even try it with the front door. Maybe we should do that. We're in the garage area of the house. There is a car here. Hmm. Just to be an older car right there. Bike strung up. You know, dude, this is so atmospheric. I'm really feeling this right now. Let's get this light on in this the place, power shall we? turned off the night we left. I see. 
So it was a routine thing. Everyone left. That's interesting. For the first Why time they in would years. Leave. 2010. So this is 2017 right now. Here we go. I felt like I was home. Huh. It still looks like home. Dude, this looks fantastic, doesn't it? This looks great. And this is the level of indie games we're experiencing right now. Family, they were just memories of one. Yeah. We can see the last meal they had, obviously, before they cleared off. Crazy stuff, dude. What is this like here? Like after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. <laughs> Except our cat, Molly. Where did Molly go? Did we bring Molly with us, dude? They are stacking up on salmon. That's all I'm saying. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. Edie, check it out. Edie was in a wheelchair. Oh, what is that? Some kind of life system? It was system? like a bomb had gone maybe? off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Hmm. Huh. Edie, interesting. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine ah. great grandma Edie living in a nursing home. That explains that. I was thinking Edie is older, so that's why she made the excuse about the husband. Still kind of a bit morbid, you know? Joking about your dead husband like that, Nothing but. Nothing in the house okay. looked abnormal. There was just too much of it, like a <laughs> smile with too many teeth. This is incredible. Can we try the key in the door? I think we missed that opportunity. Maybe that wasn't necessary. It's just for the dog. A lot of things got left behind in the world. Ah, I night. see. Wait, in the whirlwind of that last night, that last night, what happened, Edith? What happened? You know, it's this here. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, oh, so I wasn't for? too surprised when the key didn't fit. Oh, okay. This, however, what is this? All right, here we go. We're gonna wind this up. So this is for Barbara Finch. Is that Bigfoot in the back there, dude? Ben built a music box for Barbara. Okay. Along with the rest of the house. Hey, look, you can see Barbara right there. Is she, uh... What is she? My friend Bigfoot. Is she a movie director then? So Barbara Finch looks to be the movie director. I want to go in that basement, though, as time goes on. We didn't check this room out here, though. Ooh. What the freak was that? Whoa, you can hear stuff going on outside, man, you know? Check that out there. Man, this family, they did well for themselves, seriously. So one of them was a movie director. I still don't know about the rest of them, but I mean, they've, they've got loads of books. I mean, they seem to be a super, super duper wealthy family, and they seem to know what they're doing in life to make it work for them. Which is interesting, because then how could disaster strike from all of this? Like, if they're such a smart family and they know what's going on. Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Ooh, so Milton and maybe was the first. and drilled peepholes. Huh. Interesting. So we're going to go and find one of these peepholes and check through. These are the peepholes. Okay. My grandpa Sam spent wow. seven years sharing a room with his dead brother. Whoa. Calvin. What the heck? With his dead brother? What would what, you... Oh, I think I get what it's saying. I, I thought literally dead in the bed un, unmoved, you know. As a kid, I just assumed every hmm. house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. I won't quite say that's normal. Let's check uh, this one here as well. Who's this for? This one's for Edie. The last time I was in Edith Sr.'s room, I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. This was seven years ago then, just before we left. Okay, gathered that. This is Barbara's here, looking very snazzy, I gotta say, dude. Let's take a look through there. Barbara was a child yeah. star for two years. Ah. Until America grew out of it. Yeah, you can see there's the fight. So maybe Barbara was the actor in the Bigfoot movie? Maybe that's what it's trying to say? Ooh, what is this? Mom okay, must have just... locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. Damn, dude. Okay, so I think maybe there's one more room over that side. And then, after that, I mean, we've got to try and find our way in these rooms. Oh, wait, hold up. That room's open. Let me check this one beforehand, though. So this is for Molly. Molly always okay. seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. So is this based in the olden days? Because when I looked downstairs, in the kind of garage area, there was a uh, calendar that said 2010. That's uh, kind of confusing. So whose room is this? I spent a lot of time playing in great Uncle Walter's room. Uncle Walter. I mean, we can kind of see where he's dragged away. I'm not sure if he was uh, maybe in a wheelchair or something. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Because now we're in, I guess? Or maybe Lewis that was because we used to get in there? Passages, but I never believed him. Ah, well, there's a key here. Maybe that's what it's for. 20,000 leagues under under the sea, I think that was. So the mother provided us a lock for the book. That's interesting. Out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Oh. Whoa. Okay, mother. So now what's in here? find out what my mom had been afraid of. Goodness me. Let's hop in, dude. What is the... Where are we? This is interesting. What's this here? Some kind of drawing of the house, perhaps? Not sure who did that. Got skipping right the there. On the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Oh, yeah. He knew how to get in here before you. Okay. This, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. Hmm. But I had no idea what was behind that door. Now we do. Ooh. This room is looking super cool, Just man. It's like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. And this is where it all begins, guys. Let's take a look. 
So I got the sense Edi had spent mm. a lot of time here. Mm-hmm. Before my mom sealed the doors. Maybe so. What can we see outside? Running water? What is that there? That's like a, maybe a platform that you could swim on and stand or something before diving back in? I don't know, man. So watch this. This is Molly Finch's diary. Let's open this. Here we go. December 13th, 1947. Dear diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when mom Ooh. sent me to bed without dinner. <gasps> this I is woke the flashback. up and I was starving. Oh so my I gosh. I around for something to eat. Well, I don't think that's wise, you know, Molly. The gerbil food. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't Ooh. mind it. I guess it's a carrot. Um, I, I'm sure the gerbil minds it. Uh, I mean, when the door's open, uh, where the freak's the gerbil at? All right, well, we'll take what we're given, I guess. I mean, she already did it. Let's go and check out the fish. I don't want to eat him, but I just want to check. Wait, are we going to eat him? I thought about... Are you kidding me, dude? I thought about eating Christopher, oh, gosh. but I held back. <laughs> Christopher's like, no, I don't even think about it, Molly. Hmm, I don't think we can actually feed Christopher. That's kind of interesting. So, I guess this is where it all begins. Oh, hold up, actually. We've got one more thing here. What's this? My Some Halloween kind of candy was all gone. Ah, no good. Here we go. Mom, can I come out now? Wait, the mother would lock the doors with the kids... Wow, so she would lock the doors with us? That's interesting, and I guess maybe this was our way out, which is the way we actually came in. Or was it? Okay, I don't recognize this. I kept eating and eating. Oh my gosh, we're gonna eat toothpaste, dude? I mean, that's really bad for you. Oh, that is really bad for you. That can cause big stomach problems, dude. I mean, wait, what's that? Hey, what was that? I heard chirping outside my window. Ooh. Hey, but Bruh. no, but we don't want to eat the birds, surely? It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. But we're, surely we're I not going to eat that. For her. Oh, and she left. I'm kind of chained again. Why are we shut in this place, and dude? Suddenly, <laughs> what the? F I was a cat. Uh, okay. I would. Uh, I'd be careful, Molly. I think this is some kind of disillusion. Whoa! I don't want to kill the bird, dude. But okay. Surely the bird's going to go again. Okay. Can we jump? Okay. Here we go. So we're hopping over. We're gonna follow the sparrow quiet, or whatever the shit it was. Really scared. <laughs> it was. It really was. I don't know why we're trying to kill it though. We're gonna catch it. I'm kind of glad. I don't want to kill the bird. This gives us a chance to investigate around the place, I suppose. So where else can we go from here on out? Uh, we can go on this tree right here, I suppose. All right, the bird is still following. Maybe onto the gutter in here. Let's try. Oh, we're on. We're on. And let's go. Mom and Dad nice. Didn't even look at me. Huh. I don't even think they're. With it? What the freak can they do? Let's just keep hopping around. I guess we're doing this right. Onto here, maybe? Oh, wow. This cat is agile as freak, man. This is a weird kind of experience right here. Hopping over and getting to the birdie. Come on. Getting close. Oh. I jumped and I almost got her. Goodness me. Where are we headed? Wait. What the freak is this? Hold up. What's this bird done for us, I you know? Tell she was getting really tired. Where is she? Where is she? Okay. Then she flies off. Where does she fly? Right to the very end there. Anything on here we can do or, or use? On the table we get. So what do we see? I don't really know what this is. So it looks like we had a tree house here of some kind. And maybe this is the way we'd actually have to get to it? Now I was up in the hmm. big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. Okay. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. Well, she's I gone now. Wait, no we didn't! And suddenly, I was an owl. First, what, dude? This is nuts. This is nuts. So now we're an owl of some kind. So, okay, we have to swoop down once we find something to eat, I think. Or well, can we swoop down in general? Hold up. Okay, let me just land here. Checking around. Rabbits, Rabbits everywhere. I see one. I see one. I got you. I don't want to get it, but I have no choice. I, I really don't want to kill the poor rabbit. looking up and seeing mine through my talons. Ew, why would you imagine that? I swallowed that? him up, and I didn't chew one bit. Ooh, that's gross. So we flew off maybe into the, uh, into the kind of woodland here? Let me sweep down just to have a look. Okay, not seeing anything on the base. A mama rabbit. A mama rabbit. I can hear it. I can definitely hear it. I guess we got a cat. I saw it. I saw it. Sorry, mom. I'm so sorry. It's what we got to do. I'm sorry. I got you. I am so sorry, dude. She was Oh, wow. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. Whoa, the heart's like being loads? Is that our heart? I was a shark. 
dude, what? This is so abstract, man. I guess it will make sense a lot. What the freak is going on? So what are we doing? Do we have to kind of like simmer our way down here slowly but surely? What is going on, Molly? You know, this is your story. So I guess it's going to be abstract. I off the cliff and into the ocean. Wow. Now, wow, dude. Hungrier than ever. Oh my gosh. Well, what do we see? What is that? I don't know what that is. We're going to dash for it. It's a seal. Goodness me, this is so unusual right now. And uh, fat, juicy seals we got, I suppose. This girl's barbaric as frick. Man, this is harsh. This feels horrible. This thing has no chance. It has It has no freaking chance. Wait, what? What are we? Are we a snake? What the freak is going on, man? This is crazy. This is insane, man. So we're a monster? Oh, we're like pulling ourselves around, aren't we? I see. <laughs> this is so peculiar. I love this. I love this, man. So let's pull ourselves over to here. We are a freaking monster, dude. Over to here. I see a bird. We're not interested in you. We're interested in, I guess, the human meat. Yes, please. Let's freaking get it. Wow. I mean, how, dude? You know? Oh, my. Wow. And this right here, right, is why you should not let children watch 18 plus films when they're about four years old. They don't freaking know what's also, going on. I didn't. I mean, I, well, we didn't know. I mean, we carried on, I guess. We got a drunk dude here. I mean, an easy target, right? He ain't even gonna notice what's coming. So let's go. I, I got him. I freaking got him. Ew. Thank you very much, I guess. The last one on the ship, I think, is the sailor. So let's go this way right here. Here we go. My my freaking way, bird. I see ya. This dude has no idea what's coming for him, huh? Whatsoever. Wait, there we go. Wow. What? Alright. Okay. And what was that? Huh? What are we? We're still the monster, I think. I slithered onto the sand, and the good wow. smell went into an old pipe. And in we went, I suppose. Huh. And what did we find at the end, huh, Molly? Continue this story. It's interesting. It's inter Oh, and we can climb. Okay. So gravity does not defy us in any form or way. Oh, out through a toilet, man. That's almost taking a number two. You know what I'm saying? Wait. Wait, wait. Hold up. We're back in Molly's... Of course, we're by the sea, dude. How did I not realize? Hold up. Underneath the bed? What does that say? All my stomachs? I think there's more, though, on that. Or is that literally it? All my it? stomachs started growling. All? Okay. More than one? Okay. All of your stomachs. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time. Dude. But I couldn't hear anything. You gotta think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But is it real? But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be. And we both know I will be what? delicious. Whoa. But is it real? Is the monster real, you know? Delicious is the key word. Maybe that's when we finish reading the story. That seems too superficial to be real. You know, that's definitely a child's story right there. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, hmm. but I'm sure Edie would have. Edie, okay. Well, that was Molly's story, and I mean, Molly's nowhere to be seen, dude. All right, let's open the window. So this, there's a cat right outside the window. Wait, who's the cat, dude? What the freaking cat go? Oh, maybe this is where we gotta go. I think so. Where did the cat go? I just saw this it a second ago. This later, hmm. but my mom never told me any of these stories. Okay. Oh, he look at this. Have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Wow, that's cool. So, when we adopted a stray kitten, right? She was the one who named it Molly. I see. Okay, so we're heading now through Whose room is this? Is this the older parent? This I is the grandparents' room. I spent a lot room. of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Yes. What does that say? Built in 1937, Avon Finch, I think. What's this here? One summer they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. <laughs> and we can see Edie right Three there. Weeks. She was a celebrity. That's pretty cool, man. Standing their ground. No forest fires moving anyone. Her room was like a museum. Hmm. 1880 to 1937. What's this here? Oh, they're like the glasses you look through and then you can see for people. For 500 years, the or Finches things. have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune. And misfortune. Okay. So this is some backstory. All of our family is dead right now. So the misfortune is more interesting for me. Right, let's slide this Only one over. Finch buries the latest go. victims of the family curse. His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. This is a legit curse, then. It's real. It's not fake. This is real. On January 7th, 1937, 
the he house. He said sell his family. What? And his house. What the freak? Hoping to leave the curse behind. He literally said sail with his house, man. Legit. Like Put what? 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington. What? Send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Dude, I mean, you don't want to battle Odin's the elements, man. Katie, what? With husband Sven and baby Molly, what? step ashore on their new home. Orcas Island. And this is where the house was built, Orton right? Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. Oh, gosh. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Huh. And that's the lot. Interesting stuff. Let's pop that down right there. So there's a note about what happened, Whatever's perhaps. wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Clearly. A curse. That's still nuts, though. Like, they literally put a house on a boat? Are they... Cr well, obviously, yeah, they are crazy, right? When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon... She could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. <laughs> wow. All Even right. Even in her 90s. Wow. Sometimes Edie Jesus. seemed a lot younger than my mother. So this this family is just cursed, dude. There's just things that go wrong all the time, the clearly. The only trace Grandpa Sam's uh. first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. Very pink indeed. Look at this thing. That looks so comfy on the it feet, though, you know? big trace. What's this? What's this? There's a secret in this bathroom. The key works for that too. So it's like, okay, I think I'm seeing how this is going right here. We'll slide that guy off. Let's open this up. So by Sven and Edie There's Finch. There's a secret in this bathroom. Ah, we got little pull-out things in right the there. Last place you would look. This it is cool. What? It's hidden in this book. <laughs> what? Oh man, that's so cool. That is awesome, man. What is through here? This family, they clearly had this all thought out as well. Is this like a developing thing? Like, what Sven is this, gave man? Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. Yeah. He never put it down. This is some kind of, like, developing thing that they've got going right here. We're going to dip under here. Let's take a look. That says Milton again. Maybe Milton was there? Let's push this chair out of the way. There we are. Oh, there's, like, a red thing going across there. Some kind of red tap. Fort Calvin? Ooh. Oh, dude, this is strange. What, what the freak? There's, like... Commander Center. This is like, this was like goals when I was a young child, man. I've missed out. I already know I have. Look at this, man. Look, a walkway over and into there. That is a dope idea for like a living space. What we got here? Grandpa Sam had a twin. I'm clipping there right there. I want to go in there. And oh, yes. Never talked about him. We get a chance to go up. Okay. I guess That's my interesting. grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, dude, as a kid, look at this stuff, man. A little space helmet and a note inside. What does the note say? How wow. I want to remember my brother. This is going to be another Last flashback, I think. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Whoa, dude, look at this. We got a broken foot or something? I my guess. My said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. Huh. And he did. Well, he stood by his word, I guess. At Barbara's funeral, we swore he'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. Huh. That's interesting. Oh, man. Wanted to fly. That doesn't sound good. He wanted to fly? What is that scraping sound, man? Stop! Wow. <laughs> this is so cool, man. That day, he finally made up his mind to do it. Oh, we're going to shoot over, aren't we, man? I've just figured, I like, we're going to go whoosh. We're getting some height now. Here we go. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Whoa. We're hitting the tree. Oh, the tree's going to break. Wait, the tree is definitely going to break. And maybe he'd still oh be here. my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is making me feel nauseous, dude. I think he'd already made up his Whoa. Mind. What the freak is going on, man? What the That's heck? what I want to remember about my brother. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my gosh, man. Whoa. And it's going to get tighter and What the heck is going on, man? And he did. What? So he was on a swing, I think, when he died. He must have flew out into the ocean, and that was the death, I guess, of Calvin. What? Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Apart from you didn't die? After the funeral, Edie roped Ooh. off Calvin's half of the room. Okay, that was why the rope was there. And so, I guess... He was on the swing. He must have swung a little bit too much. And unfortunately, man, I guess fate caught up and it must have took him out. Dude, Mom so that was unlucky for the kid. Mom said at 18 and never set foot in the room again. Huh. What is this here, however? Is that the like a caterpillar or something? So we want to pull the caterpillar, I guess. Dude, this family is insane. They have mysteries hiding everywhere. What, is, what even is that? Is that like a, a, a thing we can pull or push, is it? 
I think it's a put. Oh, we're lifting it up. What is even going on right now? Oh my god, look at this! What is this? The passages were a pretty tight fit. But they were there. They'd obviously been built for smaller ah. hands and bellies. Okay, we can unlock this right now. And this gives us access now to this point of travel. Got it. What is this? Milton's room. Is this Milton's room? I think it must be. Yeah, this is Milton's room, all right. Wow, okay, Barbara Growing Finch. Up, I always ah. thought of Barbara as a child star. Look at this, though, man. Like, they've kind of got, like, a walkway. This kind of pulls out or something like that. And then... You can go out like into the hallway here and then we can do whatever the freak we want. So we're literally inside that room there. Okay then guys, so this game is captivating right now. We're no closer currently to the mystery as to what happened to the Finches. This game is very abstract, but we're starting to see now that the family maybe had something going on here that we didn't know about. There was all these secret cubby holes, etc. And there's a reason why they're all put in place, right? They said that the doors were locked at nighttime and I mean, Molly tried to open the door, but still, I mean, they've created these other routes where they could get around the house without actually opening doors. There's definitely a greater force at play right here, guys. I don't know what it is, but I'm hoping we learn out in the future episodes to come, because I think I want to continue this one, guys, so long as you all enjoy it as well. But this is going to be the end of part one here anyway, guys. So if you did enjoy this video, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I of course hope you did enjoy, and I will, of course, see you on the next one.